Copyright is required a very strong foundation so that and it has to be laid early on at some point in time so that we can keep building. Right? Uh, it is very similar to building a multi-story building, but you lay the foundation for hundred stores and then you start hundred stories and then you start building. So what are the foundations things? A strong vision, a strong purpose. So you call it vision, direction, purpose, whatever that is. A strong set of values. You know, how we will behave with our stakeholders. A strong set of processes which can evolve, because processes will have to evolve. So you have to harness them. Right. They are enormously energetic, they are enormously powerful, but they, there you have to be, uh, uh, we collectively have to be uh, alive to their shortcomings or their limitations, not shortcomings necessarily, and, and find ways of exploiting their strengths. So their strengths are risk-taking, um, just sheer entrepreneurialism, uh, the ability to build things, right? Then it requires uh, somebody else to harness that into a well thought out and forcefully administered, transparently, fairly administered regulatory framework. Right? So it's silly to say that, you know, please do CSR. Because you need to care about the country. I mean, you are industrialist, build the country for me. You should be appropriately rewarded for it, your shareholders should be appropriately rewarded for it. But the public interest, I will guard as a regulator. And I will punish you if you undermine the public interest. But fairly and transparently and predictably. I need to spend time with my young colleagues to understand what this digital world is doing to us and it is disrupting everything. So we have uh, review sessions in businesses with, where the seniors are just not conversing with the digital world. So, you know, we have to move out. We have to let the space be taken by people who understand this new world, emerging world. And we have to create an environment where these people are heard. And not only heard, you know, they should be able to overrule us. So you're seeing, you know, the 30-somethings or 30-pluses are now the owners of big businesses. The disruptive stuff is coming from 30-pluses. Right. So you have to allow that in organizations as well. Uh, I think it's very important to have a purpose uh, as opposed to having any other parameter or objective to rally people around. The higher the purpose, clearly the higher will be the degree of passion, etc., to drive the business. I think even from a customer's perspective, if the customer understands what the purpose of the company is, I think it makes it easier for the, for the customer as well to relate to the company. Now, of course, it's easy for everyone to have very lofty purposes and statements, so it's equally important then to follow through on that stated purpose. I think the private sector has to do innovation because innovation you can't do in a government system. Innovation also means that there's going to be failure, not everything succeeds. And in a government, you know, if you have failure, then there'll be 100 audits, nobody wants to take risk. So you should, private sector ought to do innovation and then work in partnership with government to scale it up. The track record that India has or Indian companies have in terms of um, uh, innovation, in terms of R&D, in terms of making technological uh, breakthroughs is not good. Mm -hmm. um, probably if you look at statistics, uh, Indian companies are not spending uh, uh, and enough on R&D and innovation as a percentage of uh, their business. Mm -hmm.